We're at different places in our leadership journey. Some of you are right where I was 40 years ago, and your knees are knocking, and the question that you're asking is, can I do this? We're all rookies, facing new problems every day. The only choice is if we're going to operate with rookie smarts. You know, if you want your team to stay relevant, lead your team into the unknown. The pathway to your greatest potential is straight through your greatest fear. If God is calling me to do this, then he will give me what it takes to get it done. Longevity is perhaps the greatest strength that anyone can have as a leader. I'm a huge believer in everything the church can be. The church is resilient. I mean, it just keeps going forward. Most great leaders do not start as great leaders. They grow into great leaders. The critical question is, will you do whatever it takes to scale your leadership as the demands of your enterprise grow? The fastest way to change the feedback culture in any organization is for the leaders to become better receivers. If you don't know what you need to work on as a leader, you know who does? Everybody else, but you have to ask. One of the big blind spots that we have is that many of us wander around thinking we're givers when we're actually takers. Instead of thinking of success like a game of battleship as takers do, givers are much more likely to ask, how could I become the rising tide that lifts all boats? The power of diversity is so great that diverse teams outperform smarter and more capable teams. For most leaders, the object of leadership is their own success. You will not find the definition of success until you help people to succeed. Art really isn't about drawing, it's about learning to see. And which businesses or which professions do you not want to have enhanced abilities to see? If you are brave enough, often enough, you are going to fail. There is nothing more dangerous to the critics and the cynics than those of us who are willing to fail because we've learned how to get back up. You don't have to leave it all on the field. Christ left it all on the cross. The work is not about your name. It's about his name. It's about you bringing what you have, dumb ideas and all, saying, Lord, what I have, it may not be much, but that that it is, I give it back to you. We are leaders, we have forfeited the right to make excuses. You're there to accomplish, you're there to lead, lead toward the right direction, come to work, not to work, come to work to be part of a purpose. So in recent days, I have been reminded afresh just how much leadership matters. It matters in every industry. It matters across all disciplines. So leaders, I'm asking you again this year, step it up because if you do the toys will get over the mountain missions will get accomplished and the god we serve will receive the glory <laughs>